Depression didn't knock when it arrived. It slid through an open window when I wasn't looking. It like hijacks every corner of your mind and it manipulates you into thinking that getting better is not possible. Sickness had its nails clawed so deep into the fibers of my mind, I couldn't even tell which parts were it and... Maybe it was like December 2018 or 2019, but I was in this place where like, I couldn't move for weeks. Like I would go, I would tour, I, it'd be great for that month. And then I would come home and I would just be like crying for like 30 days straight until like I had to go on the road again. And I asked myself a question, how many more years can I survive living like this? You know, like wanting to die every single day. You know, maybe I can make it like another three years because I don't think that after three years, I can like live with my brain being like this. And that thought really, really scared me. That's when like something in my brain snapped and was like, whoa, 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 we need to stop. I'm gonna get help. Dying became the only thing that calmed me. You know, I found myself a therapist. I signed up for like a meditation course. I ordered like literally 25 books about depression. I tried everything. And then I thought it was really funny that I was doing that. As somebody who is depressed, you barely have the energy to leave your bed in the morning. Yet to get better, you have to put in like so much effort and so much energy you don't have. And so I was kind of also trying to make light of the situation and trying to find the humor within it all because I think you do need a little bit of humor to find the hope to survive. This is a poem that I open with. The reaction is always really, really powerful. I remember in Fort Lauderdale, within the first stanza, the entire like theater was standing up. That just goes to show how much people are sort of suffering alone and how, how much of a relief they feel when they know that they're not alone. It is so gradual and I think for a while people might not even notice that it is happening. And what really helped me accept that it was, was writing. And that's where a lot of, you know, my book Healing Through Words came from. It's sitting with yourself, having these conversations, because that's the person you need to talk to first, is you. And after that, you know, approaching friends, caregivers, loved ones, and getting better is possible. And we want you to get better and we want you to stay alive. I will move and the sadness will fall off my shoulders and make room for joy. I will be full of color. One day, I will feel alive again.